All right, so it's day three, it's hump day. We made it to this point. Truck's looking pretty good. What's on the schedule? Well, the big thing today is to get the motor and trans installed. Uh, we're just about ready with that. So it'll be a couple minutes and we'll slide that thing in there. All right, engine trans, we got some wiring, uh, fuel injection, uh, ignition, and uh, fuel. So yeah, we're getting there. By the end of the day, the truck probably could fire up. We probably won't, but we'll be pretty close. Right on. All right, oh yeah, and we'll measure for a drive shaft. Just keep him in there. That's it. What's up, buddy? That's all I got. What are we doing, doing today? Get a measure for a drive shaft. Yep. We're gonna um, wire the car, suspension, brake lines, plumbing, steering, exhaust. Go ahead. Is that dandruff? Shouldn't be dandruff. <laughs> well, that's it. I feel pretty good about that. Feel good about our day? Not really. Well, um, it's Wednesday. Well, hopefully by Thursday. Not much to get excited better. about. Friday, I'll be excited. Well, can we get to work? Let's do it. We'll get the out of the camera. Waiting for you. All right, let's go. What are we doing today? <laughs> like literally now, where do we start? This is the LMC truck, C10 Nationals Classic Trucks, week to wicked build, presented by Gandridge Chevrolet. This is what your knee sounds like sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, all the times now. Is that cool? You know why this says oil engine oil fill seat owner's manual? Because my buddy worked at AutoZone and there was a lady that kept coming in buying oil. And after about the fifth time, they're like, what is she doing? He went out to the parking lot and he's like, you need some help? And she goes, no, nah, I'm just filling my engine with oil. He goes, how much have you put in there? Oh, about nine quarts. She was, <laughs> he's all, whoa, let's hold on. Got to make sure you get all your clicks in. Yep, so um, we just have a universal spark plug kit here. That way you kind of just get all the wires the same length so they all kind of flow together. So you cut one end and then you take your terminal with a special tool, you crimp it on there and uh, then you put your boot over that, which I'm doing right now. And now that that's pressed on there, it clicks into place. So the only thing that's left now is uh, one coil wire. We won't be able to cut that to size until we get the engine in and figure out where we're gonna mount our coil. Well, once it's in there, you gotta check it in there. Yeah, sometimes they'll give you a distance like this, you know, which okay. is seven eighths. Um, but they don't give you anything, so they 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 check it against the flywheel or the okay. flex plate. Well, yeah, well I was I put it in, I was turning it, and it went twice. Clunk, and then it went clunk, clunk again. Yeah, yeah. So that feels like it. It feels like it feels like it's all the way, it's all the way in. in. Yeah, and I I mean I went through the back and I felt the back of it. You can kind of feel that yeah, it's seated it in that there. Yeah, it farther in, you know. But. Yeah. We'll check it when you put the flex plate when it mates up. It says, With you the know, engine. between eighth inch and quarter inch, because it's going to come out. Yeah. You just don't want to come out too, too far. far. That's what they're looking at. Chris, come down a little bit more. Hey, you should give it more slack, because when we drop it into the truck. You're going to need to hang, huh? You're good right there. Yeah. Shank the hood up. Someone grab the front of the hood, Christian. It's all yours. Okay, give me a second. Keep coming, you're good. Okay, come in, come in, come in. Coming in, coming in. Come in. You got plenty of height, Achoo. you're good. Hey, Don't go any higher. You're crazy. I used to be able to get him with that back in the day, not anymore. Oh, they got me. Okay, we're just going over it now. Go okay, ahead. I, I'm, I got one ear over it. Go down. I can't see what the other side looks like. Good you want on me this to side. tilt it down? Not uh, yet. It needs to go, go down. down in the back. Go, go down. down with it? Yep, down. A little more. There, there you go. go, we're in. Okay. You know how to drop it up? <laughs> okay, I'm here. you're in. <laughs> drop it down, go down. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> All right, guys, go home. We got the engine in. All right, that's day three. That's a wrap. Wait, how are you going to get on there? Just lift it. Muscle it. Oh, this says it shouldn't fit this car. This is made for a Camaro. Uh-oh. Pull it out. Pull it out. We got the wrong motor in, guys. Pull it out. We got the wrong engine for this truck. Damn it. Take two. Ready. One, two, three. Come on over, Tater. Oh, God, it's already so heavy. Got it, got it, got it. 
You're good. Okay, you're good. Set there for a second. Okay, now let's do No. Yeah, it got heavier now that the converter was in there. Chop right there and bite. Okay. Oh my god, so Dude, what the f? Oh, it. That was G, bro. Dude, come on. That wasn't me. Holy sh. Dude, who was that? The breakfast burrito. Jesus Christ. <coughs> that you, Peter? That was Jay. Hey, I'll, I, I can tell you who it was. It's whoever's luckily. dripping out of their pants right now. <laughs> Good God. Somebody I can't believe no one wants to man up for that one. That's a proud moment. <laughs> hey, are you going to go up or what? Yeah, I'm just making sure the angle's right because it's kind of off. Let's go, Peter. Let's get up there. How are you looking over there now? That should do it. Are you in the dial pin, Jay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Where's my fucking. <laughs> okay, guy. There I moved it. Yeah, well, the way. we can't work. <laughs> now you're really in the way. Chris, let's start bolting up the car converter. Car converter? Is it giving you anything? I'm looking. Uh, this is. You know French? You know French? Uh, Parlez-vous le français? Oui. Oui, oui. 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 Je m'appelle Georges Coustet. Whoa. Flywheel to converter, <laughs> 60 foot pounds. 60. Christian, do you need your right hand with me? Or your left hand? Yeah, kind of. Hey, Christian, do you need to use your hands to do this, or can I film it with your hands out of the way? Do we need the... The bolts? Yeah, that helps. Uh, last year's... Um, yes, thank you. My knee. I'm, I'm, I'm nursing my knee while they're working. Actually, I don't even have a problem with my knee. I just didn't want to work with it a lot of pressure. I just want to be able to scoot it. I don't want to tighten these up or you want me to do them loose? Just snug them for a second and let's measure it. Get, get out the way. Yeah, 16, 10 minutes. Yeah, 16, yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We could tighten that down. I don't feel pretty good about that. So we're gonna measure for a drive shaft now so we can get that made up. Typically you'd put you'd load the rear suspension, but I have yet, out of a lot of drive shafts I've done, really made a difference. I could see if you had maybe two feet of travel, but in our case we don't, so we're gonna uh, just measure it as it is. And then if it doesn't work, it's my fault. But like I said, I haven't had that happen ever. Looks correct the moon though. Looks cool to you. Can I borrow that gun, dude? A little dust cover. Watch dust your head, cover. Mike. Watch your head. Right behind you. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, let's come this down. This is how we do it. Sweet All right, we're going to come down, gentlemen and ladies. Watch, Christian. Remember I was talking about that the other day? How much of a pain in the ass it is working on these trucks once you get the motor and everything in there because it's like... For it. I can't hardly reach to read this thing without that. Okay, fuel system's done. Done. Oh, I'm just running wiring. Uh, got to wire the alternator, got to wire the starter. Uh, got to run all the wiring to the sensors. So we'll be up here for a little bit. Let's get our wiring out before we mount it in case we shoot ourselves in the foot now. So oh, we won't. Far. You have plenty of room to put it inside the cab. Famous last words. Dude, I've done the system. I I've, have to. I've done the system 16 times. I've done as 17 of last times. night. You done 17. Well, oh, I, I forgot it. about the first two I did, so I've done 18. I did it 20 because I had to redo the two that you did the last time. <laughs> you really got me there. <laughs> yeah. Should we stab that one into the trance since that's the one that's really gonna? Well, let's lift it up. Yeah. Oh my God, we're good there. So vehicle speed in this one, this one. I'm assuming that's what that is. Good there. Um, yeah, Get that up out of the way. Put it up there. Okay. So let's bring her back down, brother. Do you have that syringe for my knee? Get it. Let's suck it out right now. Let's do it. Bring it on over here. Ready? Right there. Get that. Ah! Here you go. Suck it out. Look at it. It's on. You did a good job, Doc. Did you clean that before you stuck it in me? <laughs> Perfect. You can trim them. Ooh, right now the headlight. Okay, so those are the only two I can get to. 
those, we'll have to mark and drill. I can do an angle drill with this in it. Yeah, yeah. If you want to go who's, do that, who that? Who's your daddy? Who that? Who that? <laughs> and some instructions with it. All right, so just got the uh, master cylinder back from the guys who just finished bench bleeding it. So we're going to go ahead and get this installed. All right, we're still getting quite a bit of air, but I'm going to try and close it a hair just to eliminate any of the bleeder belt. Uh -huh. All right, so uh, what we're doing here is mounting our ignition box that will tap into our uh, fuel injection harness and feed our distributor to tell our uh, engine when to spark. We're just gonna mount it here on the side of the battery tray. Um, you can still get to it, but it's out of the way and clean. Just using a couple button heads to secure it. We'll put the battery tray back in the truck and uh, be ready to wire it. No? Right. No, Frankie. All right, let's get the clamp off. It's an Allen wrench from the front right. side. Doing a good job. You're doing pretty good. We are. Are we on the schedule? You are special. You're a special person oh, in my on life. On the schedule? Oh, you're on schedule too. Yeah. But yeah. you're special in my life. Oh, thank you. You're a special person in my life. I want to kiss you now. <laughs> Just be careful, then he's going to get jealous. Would he? When he sees it. Okay. I want it to be a kiss of doom. Well, Luis earlier said, right, says, do you guys miss Danny? And I'm like, why do you keep bringing up Danny? Do you miss Danny? I think he was missing him a little bit. Phil's lost when he doesn't have someone to tell him what to do 24-7. <laughs> you're holding that wrong. That's not how you hold a screwdriver. Wonders what's going on. <laughs> that's not what you do. I'm sorry, that's not how you do it. As many of you know that have been following this truck behind me that we're building here with Classic Trucks Magazine, we're gonna give this truck away at the LMC Truck C10 Nationals on May 3rd and 4th, 2019. And there's only one way to win this truck and that's to be registered as a show participant or a two-day spectator. And you can do that at c10nationals.com. Uh, winner must be present on May 4th. And uh, who wouldn't want to be part of one of the biggest and best truck events in the country? Uh, the C10 Nationals, America's truck event. Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? Stop. Stop. <laughs> Nope, all the way around. There you go. Okay, I'm cool. Did you put a bolt on it yet? No. Oh. I like the fact that it's just a straight shot. Is it there 30 yet? I wish. Okay, where is this? Are you, are you doing the two towards the cab first? Sure. Okay, let's do that. Front's ready. I got center one started. Got one there. Perfect. Are you there? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Yes. All right. Well, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Put your <laughs> hand under there. Put your hand under there. I'll drop them in there. There you go. All right, so we're coming up to the end of day three. Got an early start. Gonna work probably a couple more hours. The guys are just wrapping up the wiring now. It's been a pretty productive day. The guys at CVP kick some ass too, so uh, we're gonna get back at it pretty early tomorrow morning, and uh, we'll see you then. Stay tuned. Hey, why do you have to be like that, dude? You guys are back here working. It's too hot in here. The floors are dirty. I got assholes for friends. moldy. Colleagues. Colleagues, yeah, you know, that's exactly what I meant by assholes, friends, colleagues. I quit. Technically, I'm getting paid to hang out with you right now, so.